This is Wyoming, forged from a geologic history both savage and benign, a wonderland of jagged peaks and windblown deserts, rich river valleys and undulating grasslands. This is the place where ecosystems can still come together in a magical potion of diversity and surprise. Here, some of the world's longest migration routes remain intact. There is habitat for more than 900 species of wildlife. Some roam the highest mountains, others dig into the native prairie. Some fly in for the summer, others come for the winter. Many know the state for its vast resources of coal, oil, uranium, trona, bentonite, and natural gas, but Wyoming also has the largest populations of antelope, sage-grouse, and shirus moose. This is ranching country, Indian country, wild country. Wyoming truly is like no other place on Earth. Wildlife Trust Fund is not an idea that simply sprung up in my head. It's an idea that's been talked about in Wyoming for decades. There's always been an underlying recognition that the preservation of what's important in this state is going to require us to put money behind our good wishes. It's built around the premise that um, in those times where we have funding and those times where we don't, it's still fundamental that we continue to invest in the key assets of Wyoming. And one of those key assets is the natural resources and the natural wildlife and the beauty. Wyoming is really special and we ought to keep it that way. One of the unique features of the Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust is the relationship between the program and more than 120 partners who live in local communities. Every project that is considered for funding is reviewed in the field and evaluated based on a variety of criteria. The Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust is a program run by the citizens of Wyoming with a nine-member board and we work with about 125 to 130 different organizations to enhance wildlife habitat and the natural resource values in the state of Wyoming. It's everything from ponds like this that are built to enhance trumpeter swan breeding and, and transitional habitat, along with amphibians and other waterfowl, to the stuff clear up on the hills here that enhance sage grouse, mule deer, and hundreds of other species. So we work with a lot of different people, we do a lot of different things, uh, all to benefit natural resources, wildlife habitat here in the state of Wyoming. Since its inception, the Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust has reviewed nearly 1,000 project applications and funded more than 700. Some are small, others are immense, and as time moves on, success has led to even more work on the ground. In 11 years, the state of Wyoming has invested nearly $70 million in its natural infrastructure, with a cash return of more than $400 million. For every dollar spent by the WWNRT, partners have added another five. We absolutely would not be able to accomplish the scale of these treatments and the timing of it without the financial assistance and the partnering that we've had with uh, the trust fund. Uh, especially when you're treating several thousand acres a year, you, you need the funding and the partners to be able to pull that off successfully. The more partners we can bring in when we're working with our local landowners to help them uh, leverage their dollars to go farther, they can have the ability then to uh, do pro more projects in a shorter amount of time. We've been able to bring a lot of projects to the ground and get them implemented uh, due to the partnership with the trust. We have worked with hundreds of landowners, federal permittees on uh, grazing allotments. We've worked with everyone from, you know, Bondurant down south of Labarge towards Kemmerer country. And we're working on a, a wide magnitude of projects, whether it be aspen enhancement, sagebrush conservation easements, migrating wildlife, um, sage grouse habitat. These projects are intensely local. They are driven by the people closest to the ground, those who understand their own backyards because they live there. In the Wyoming range, they have included nearly every type of conservation project the WWNRT funds. We see every project on the ground, both board and staff, at least one and almost always two members come out and evaluate these projects. 
a project that looks great on paper and ready to go occasionally will come out and it's not quite ready to go. And you need to work further with the landowner, with the agency or whomever the applicants are um, to get to the point where the project is set for success. Other projects that may not read as well, you come out and they're fantastic and they are ready to go and they are ready to serve the purpose of benefiting wildlife and ultimately the people of Wyoming. The Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust works on all lands, private and public. Some projects conserve the work that Wyoming ranchers have done for generations. Others enhance habitats that have been impacted by fire, drought, or other challenges. Still more address impacts that were never understood or foreseen. With nearly 800 projects on the ground, the board's done a little bit of everything, but most of the work that they do falls into about eight or nine major categories. River restoration, which includes uh, irrigation efficiency and enhancing fish passage, uh, rangeland enhancement, that's been primarily for sage grouse and mule deer in the last few years. There's wetland creation and wetland enhancement as well, uh, and then aspen restoration and maintaining those aspen habitats is a big part of what the board has done. Conservation easements, which maintain ranch lands and farmlands well into the future. Uh, there's been fence modifications and fencing projects. Invasive species, uh, primarily in the last few years, has been cheatgrass and then uh, water development for both wildlife and livestock and to enhance livestock management. That's kind of the basic areas that the board works in. The Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust has worked in every county of the state to address impacts and create economic opportunity. And while many can see the large-scale impacts, other projects are unique and localized. People live here too. Wyomingites love their wildlife, their open space, and the sense of freedom that comes with the screech of a red-tailed hawk overhead. In one decade, the Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust has worked on thousands of acres in Wyoming without regard for land ownership to enhance wildlife habitat and natural resources in the state. We have partnered with thousands of ranchers, farmers, conservation interests, mining and oil and gas companies, and others to enhance and perpetuate the incredible legacy of natural history that is unparalleled in North America. Wildlife is something that our great-grandparents, uh, great-great-grandparents enjoyed. It's something that we enjoy. The Wyoming experience uh, isn't just the open spaces and the grand vistas. It's the wildlife that uh, makes it so wonderful and unique, and it's what we treasure. And so the trust, um, it is unique to Wyoming, and I, I think it is something that the state ought to be very proud of, uh, and it's something that, you know, what are we leaving in terms of a legacy and to say that uh, we're helping wildlife uh, and helping ag uh, those are two wonderful things this is Wyoming in many ways the same place described by legends like Jim Bridger John Fremont and the native Shoshone and Arapaho it is a very very special place we work with people in every walk of life in every town and every county to keep it special we are the Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust. We keep it local. We keep it real.